Hello, sir. We are shooting for a web series on magic, and I would like you to, you know, volunteer. As you can see, I have a normal deck of cards. All the cards are completely different, in no particular order. Just a normal card. So I would refer down the deck, and you have to tell me stop wherever you want. Stop. Right here. Sure. Don't want to change. Stop at this one. Have a look and show it to the camera. Show it to the camera. Done. I have a pad here and a pen. So just write the name of the card. Name of the card. I mean, what card you got? For example, if it's a ten of hearts, write a ten and a hearts. Just like that. Tear off the page. Fold it. Done. I'll burn this. So the card that you got is literally in the ashes. You can say that. Okay. Now I'll watch. Was it the four of diamonds? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, a normal 5 rupees coin. Yes. Show it to the camera. I just borrowed it from you. Okay. And watch it closely. And it's right away. Brilliant. Excellent. 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 Thank you. Thoroughly, thoroughly. Great. What's your name, sir? We all have heard stories of the great Indian rope trick where the charmers would take any ordinary piece of rope and would use it to climb and meet people they weren't supposed to meet. Today I have a small piece of rope which I am going to straighten up. Unfortunately I cannot use this to climb the houses due to some legal reasons. But I can definitely use this as a walking stick for times when I grow old.
ex nihilo nihilus. Out of nothing comes nothing. Or simply put, nothing comes from nothing. But can money come out of nothing? We have all heard the idiom disappearing into thin air. But can something come out of thin air? In every relationship, there is problem. There are many knots in the rope of love. This is the knot of ego. And such knots can be removed with a little bit of magic. In my childhood, I used to love the ghost stories. The stories of the ghosts living in the attic. The, these ghosts love to torment people and that is why they are always smiling. I used to have nightmares and when I grew up I realized that these stories have forever locked in my memories. The way in which I have locked these three cards here. But growing up, I realized that I still get tormented by these ghosts and demons in the form of tensions. So it is my advice to all of you that it is us who can drive out these tensions in the form of ghosts or the ghosts in the form of tension. Just like that. And live tension free life and in this way we will never be afraid of the ghosts.